guys. Hi. So if you know that you tend to look at the cup as half empty, changing your mindset is a worthwhile goal. Um, better stress management, improved health, stronger relations, increased career success. You know, these are all things that can just be better if we go through this shift in thinking. So on day one, let's take a look at the importance of a positive mindset along with ways to cultivate positive thinking. Um, positive thinking involves looking at life's setbacks in a more proactive manner by focusing on possibilities and solutions instead of everything that's wrong, you're more likely to generate productive thoughts around any situation. So our self-talk is comprised of automatic thoughts that run through our heads when we're presented with a problem or a complex situation. And those thoughts are usually skewed in either a positive or a negative direction, and they have a powerful influence on the way that you feel about yourself in a situation or in life in general. So because these thoughts are so automatic, they often tend to arise from experiences that are preconceived notions or a lack of information. Um, more positive thoughts can be generated through research, inquiry, um, or purposeful contemplation, like we're doing in the shred. Um, interrupting your automatic self-talk lets you discover information or consider more realistic views of a problem, and that can lead to affirmative beliefs that are needed to develop practical solutions. So this process is known as reframing negative self-talk, and it's very relevant to the outlook that you're gonna have about the shred and on your life. Um, people enjoy being near people who are upbeat. Um, you may be surprised at how your social opportunities and possibilities increase with a shift in your thinking. So your relationships are more likely to improve if you really throw yourself into this shift. And as you start to frame issues in a positive life throughout the shred, it can be really easy to work through any sort of misunderstandings when you approach them proactively. So that's part of what I think that we have to like really delve into in this process. And this is the same principle in action when it comes to stress and a lot of your stress eaters. So worrying and constantly thinking about the bad things is the root of stress. Think about that, the root of stress. So simply by turning your thoughts in a different direction, you'll be eliminating your primary source of stress. And this can lead to improved physical and mental health by helping you to feel more in control of your stressors more in control of your eating. Uh, your anxiety will probably lessen and it can even have an impact on lowering any sort of depression that you're feeling. Um, you'll feel less um, of the muscle tension and you'll probably have increased concentration. Positive thinking is amazing and it can actually even affect cardiovascular health and overall our lifespan. So what are some ways that you can focus on positive thinking? So cultivating a, cultivating a positive mindset requires really active attention um, and active attention to your thought patterns and practicing these habits of reframing negative thoughts that you have, these negative ones. So you might find it helpful over the next 10 days to make a list of the areas in which you are more prone to have this pessimistic view. Uh, this will help you to be mindful of your most prone and prominent beliefs and issues. 
So assess your progress throughout the day and note the times that you were most successful and how you were more successful. So doing this can increase your motivation and encourage progress. Um, avoid dwelling over the next 10 days on missteps because they happen. Instead, cut yourself some slack and concentrate on the ways in which you are moving forward and just being more in tune to yourself. I think that that's so important, that that's what this simplicity shred is about. We are tuning in, tuning in, inward, tuning into ourselves rather than judging ourselves based on someone else's determination of how much you need to weigh, how much you need to, what size you need to be in, um, what you should be really focused on is how can you simplify, how can you create, how can you be in the moment, and what does it do for you? So anyway, that is today, today's Shred Day 1 for those that are in the pre-shred program with us. And if you want to uh, carry on into our larger educational uh, social learning group, then you can jump in and go full on in the Shred in April. So let me know. Um, I'll try to answer any of the questions. It's kind of hard to do the video and answer questions, so I usually like to answer the questions if I can afterwards. Um, so I'll try to answer those questions, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!